doesn't like sugar. Dear Brian, I have to go. There's so much I want to say, and you have every reason to be confused. I've made some mistakes in my life. I've done things I regret. I trusted guys who said I love you, and I woke up the next morning alone. I'm not going to do it again. It may sound crazy, but I'm waiting for my wedding night. And Brian, I knew about the bed, but it didn't matter. I don't expect you to understand all this, but please forgive me if I've hurt you in any way. I loved our time together. Say goodbye to the guys for me. Jesse. some light. Oh, man. I just wanted to be with her. Just hang in her world. Okay. Remember when Amanda got sick? I'd stay up all night, begging God to heal her. But he didn't. She died anyway. All right, Brad, what's, what's this got to do with Jesse? Everything. Everything. Don't you get it? The more you hope, the more you get burned. Brian, you know what, man? You've been giving me this speech for, like, the last 10 years, OK? And I don't know why she died. OK, I don't have that answer for you. I don't. It doesn't help me, Will. Being bitter isn't going to help either, Brian. Come on, give God a break. I mean, don't you think? Brian, don't you think that it hurt, that it hurt God to watch Amanda suffer like she did? Don't you get it, Brian? Jesse was put in our lives as a gift. Okay? Well, I blew it. Yeah, you did. Everything about her is beautiful. Matt, can you just hold on one second? Just take my voice over. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm no public speaker. <clears throat> I don't know what those guys were talking about in there. Corey ripped our map. Uh, would you like a falafel with that? You know you just can't kill a man with Bro, it's gonna be all right. Brian didn't say much about Jesse. All we knew he screwed up. <laughs> he was truly sorry, and well, we all missed her. A famous person once said, life's a trip. Our whole lives had been about this trip, and now this trip had become about our lives. We'd crossed the Washington border, and we were cold and wet. Brian was missing Jesse, and Matt seemed to be the only one willing to stay warm. If you guys are cold, you can just pee 
your pants, it'll totally warm you up. That's the trick for me. Seattle has the highest suicide rate in America. Oh. We were down at 23 bucks. We couldn't even afford a hotel room or a shower. It was nice to get cleaned up. And by sunrise, we'd be in Yakima, home of Grandpa G. Grandpa? Take care of him. At the start of our trip, we never expected to be here. But we were glad we were here together. Why is it, after they're gone, that you suddenly remember everything that you wanted to say? Corey talked all night about how great his grandpa was and how he was such a great businessman, always coming up with new ideas. It was now time to visit Grandma G and curveball number three. Yeah, this is the address. Hey! Oh, hey, there's my boys. You made oh. it! Hey. How you doing? Oh. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma G. Oh. Oh, you boys look awful. <laughs> Let's get you something to eat. Come on. I'm sorry about Grandpa. It was just his time to go. He'd done a lot of living. He's okay. He's in a better place. 